You know, this has to be one of the more disgusting things that I've seen the news media or the fake news media do in the last few years. That you know, It's just uh, shocking, even though it's not so shocking. I mean, because, uh, I mean, truth is stranger than fiction sometimes, and this is... This is really strange, but uh, and, and I don't blame this guy here, this anchorman. I don't blame him because he's just reading a script. But CNN literally is blaming God here. And I, I'll, I'll share the video here in a minute, but I'm not going to share the whole thing because it's just over and over trying to make it look like they're not talking about God or they're not talking about gun control and all this other stuff. He keeps trying to make excuses until he gets to the point where he literally blames God and then quickly changes so as to make it look like it wasn't that big of a deal to actually say that God doesn't even bother listening to people's prayers. You know, but I, I was wondering, and I've been wondering for a while as to who in the media was going to be the one that fans the flames of the already burning Christian hate campaign that we see here in America. And now we know who's going to do it. But then that was to be expected of the mainstream media, and especially one like CNN that thrives on lies. I mean, after sharing repetitive statements regarding thoughts and prayers being offered up for the people that have been injured or lost loved ones in a few of the most recent mass shootings, and yes... I'm thinking at least more than one of those shootings that CNN mentioned here on camera have been confirmed all over YouTube and all over regular, you know, alternative media uh, and alternative news media, that is. Uh, but they have been confirmed as false flag attacks that were designed to grant more powers to the uh, people in government so as to push ahead on even more unjust laws in America. And this, but, but this CNN anchor literally claims prayers didn't help the already praying Christians that were killed in the church. And yes, that statement alone is going to fan the flames of hatred against anyone trusting the Christian God, because now they've stated in the news media that you can't trust God. I mean, check it out. Check out what he says here. Sometimes twice. So spare me the anti-religion tweets. You can keep them. I won't even read them. I don't care. These God-fearing Christians were in church. They were already praying. Thoughts and prayers did not stop an oversight from the justice system, which enabled a guy. Okay, well, he's just going to go into detail about how thoughts and prayers didn't prevent the uh, guy from blasting away in the church. Okay, you know, it's, it, it's bad enough that the fake news media does all it can to attack anyone and everyone that doesn't embrace the lies they offer as truth. You know, be it a politician they disagree with or some strong Christian who wants to stand in obedience to the Creator God, even when it's not politically correct. But for CNN to create the narrative that the God of the Bible never answers any prayers when people are literally being killed by a crazed gunman is nothing more than an obvious setting of the stage for the people that actually trust these lying reporters, and there's a lot of them, but they actually trust these reporters to become even more hateful towards God of the Bible because now they think they have proof that the God of the Bible doesn't even help people. And therefore, that kind of hatred is going to go against anyone that believes in him. I mean, the truth is, every God-hating person the last 6,000 years has always stepped up to make these kind of crazy claims that God wasn't going to help his people whenever they flexed their muscles against them. Because that's actually what's happening here. But yet, each time they do this, we have seen the hand of God move in mighty ways. Everything from the Red Sea to Goliath to, you know, whatever else is going to happen. But soon, everyone on this planet is going to see that eastern sky split. I mean, the basic reality here is Satan knows his time is short, and so he's going to have to puff himself up as much as he can. And just as Goliath did all he could to make David fearful, the Vatican-controlled media is doing all they can to do the same as that great and dreadful day draws closer. You know, when it comes to everything from good Christian morals to the God that outlines those morals in his holy book, just like Goliath of old, CNN mocks the God of the Bible by claiming he wasn't there for his people. But then, as prophecy predicted long ago, Satan has to form his Armageddon troops so as to encircle the obedient bride of Christ that do trust in the God of the Bible. And they're going to encircle us on that great and dreadful day with weapons in hand, hoping to kill us off because, number one, they actually believe the lies that all the disasters in the world are due to obedient Christians refusing to obey the Vatican puppets in the media that echo the demands of the Pope, who claims keeping Sunday holy is going to stop all those disasters. And yeah, that's what all this is coming to. And number two, they think the God of the Bible won't stop them, or even protect the Christians that they lay down on those guillotines, because now the media says he's not going to. And so the only way to get everyone on the same page is to get Bible-believing Christians hated more and more. And so this is why we see reporters like this claiming our God refuses to answer prayer. 
it literally puffs up the hearts already being conditioned to kill as we speak. And what I mean by that is, if you compile this reporter's anti-Christian comments with all the violent movies from Hollywood that his station promotes, all the violent video games advertised during his network's primetime commercial spots, the crazed and satanic music spewing everywhere you go in society now, from your grocery store to the elevators, the legalized mind-altering substances to cripple and confuse billions, all the violent sports and the pagan rituals sanctioned by all the churches that Rome has known since 321 AD is their way of uplifting Satan above the God of the Bible, and you know exactly why the false flag and actual attacks keep happening over and over again. They need to keep the blood sacrifice to their dying God flowing. And they need to keep religion in the spotlight as the main reason for it all. I mean, this is why they keep claiming ISIS is a religion. And this is why Christians are targeted by that same so-called religion. This is something prophecy says they have been building towards at a rapid pace for literally decades now. And CNN's fake news media is just one more method used by the enemy of souls to assure more souls never make it to heaven to be with the God that does, in fact, answer prayer. Thank you for watching. God bless.